What's up, YouTube? TS Gameplay here. Today I'm bringing you a match of Domination on Berlin Wall. I've played this probably three or four times now, the map itself, and I definitely got mixed feelings on it. I don't really think it's my favorite by any means, but you know, I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. The main thing that everybody knows about is the turrets, that if you run out to the so-called no man's land, that they'll shoot you and kill you. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about trying it with Ghost Pro. I just unlocked that. I'm, I don't know if that works or not, but I'll get back to you on that. Figure that out. Um, I really just I, I kind of like the setup of the map. It's not it's not terrible. Um, it's definitely big. And overall, it's just it's better to play like Team Deathmatch or Domination. You know, I think it. It'd be all right with like a free for all or something. There's just there's a lot of places to camp. You know, there's buildings all the way up and down each side, and pretty much all of them have an upstairs that you can go into and several windows to look out from. So it definitely caters to people that do want to camp and play that way. But it's not horrible. I was playing here with Brian R73, and me and him are usually the only ones that usually consistently try to go for the objective and we were able to beat this team quite easily I was surprised <laughs> but a little bit more about the other maps I still I don't know I mentioned in my last video that I didn't like stadium it's actually the one I thought I was looking forward to the most which is, it, it seems to be just like it was for Modern Warfare 2 you know when I first heard about Carnival uh, you know, it seemed like it was gonna be an awesome map I didn't really care for it I don't know what your guys' opinion is on that but uh, it was terrible in my opinion, but the stadium's one just like that. You know, you're basically outside of a stadium, in the area where you'd be you know, walking up to the main entrance, and that's what the whole map is, and it's just not that great to me. There's so much stuff in the map. You know, it's definitely like a medium-sized map. It's not very small by any means, but there's just too much stuff. There's stuff everywhere. I mean, talk about camping. It's just so... I don't even know how to put it. It's terrible, the design. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. I do like Discovery, the big snow map. That's uh that's not too bad. The size of it's it's pretty it's pretty big. I was surprised it takes like I don't know, sprinting full speed. It was like, I don't know, thirty five seconds or something to run all the way across the map. When I was messing around just seeing what was going on in a private lobby. But that's definitely I say that's my favorite one out of the four. Definitely Discovery. It's you know, I think it's got a good layout. There's tons of different places you can be and you know, it was really long sight lines. If you want to snipe, it's really it's a pretty good match to be able to do that on. There's all kinds of places where you got cover and you know can effectively snipe from way across the map. It works really well. And then there is Kowloon and I'm really not having that much fun with this one. It's, you know, it's fair. It's just, uh, I don't know. Again, it seems just like the other two. Not so much Discovery. It doesn't seem like it was really set up for camping that much, but definitely Kowloon does. There's just all kinds of areas, you know. I've tried Team Deathmatch Domination. I even played a Search and Destroy on it. And there's, you know, it's just horrible way if you spawn at the bottom there's so many windows of it you know the other team can look down from in the buildings going all the way up the map and uh, I just don't like it I don't I don't get it I have been playing the zombies quite a bit I'm thinking about putting up like a strategy video you know how you can do well what you should do in the map I've really only got one major problem with zombies and that's the addition of the space monkeys in place of the zombie dogs. And this is a really bad move on their part, I think. Because this makes it, I don't know, a lot harder to play on single player. You know, I, I think it's fun to play with multiple people on zombies, but it's also fun to see how far you can get on your own. It's definitely just as much fun to me. But the deal with the space monkeys is they're not exactly like the dogs. They're not going to just run straight for you. If you happen to have any perks on, if you had bought anything from like a you know, any machine like a speed cola or click revive or anything, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to go for those machines and try to attack them. 
and if they attack him for, I don't know, like 20 seconds, you will lose whatever perk you had bought from that machine. And this makes it really crappy for one player if you have more than one perk, because you're forced to choose which one means the most to you, and go stand by that machine to make sure they don't get that one first. And if a couple of them happen to head over to the other one at the same time, you'll probably end up losing one, and you'll have to buy it again if you want to. And I just really like what they did with that map in general. You know, the whole thing where it's black and white in the beginning, I think that's that was a pretty cool change they did with it. Um, and the size of it, you know, it reminds me a lot of Darius. I actually think it's a little bit bigger than Darius. It's, it's definitely huge. It's the biggest zombie map by far, I think. It definitely is a lot of fun. You know, there's different uh, new weapons as far as like dial grenades. I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's all in a video. I'm sure most of you have seen it, a few of you have seen it, but it's you know a grenade you throw out and then it opens up and two more little grenades come out of that and I think it happens one more time after that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they they uh, also put in basically like a black hole bomb. It creates like a little black hole that sucks zombies into it for you know, it's like something like 10 seconds or something, I don't know. Now those things are pretty cool. Um, I definitely like what they did with it. It's it's definitely a step in the right direction. I just really don't see how they're going to be able to top that. Because it means to me, you know, back with the World of War zombies, I played them. You know, most people that play the zombies now played that too. And Those maps, I don't know, the second one that came out, what was it? Shino Numa? I don't, I don't like that map at all. That was the one I played the least out of all of them, and I don't know what it was about it. I just didn't really care for it that much. But that's just what I don't get. You know, the second map, you know, it's pretty bad for World of War, in my opinion. You know, Shino Numa, and you know, with the first map being so good that they released for this one, how how would they be able to top that? You know, like I said, the only flaw being you're really at a disadvantage if you play by yourself because of the monkeys. You're going to lose something vital. I mean, I always end up, you know, the few times I've tried it so far, I end up just going to stand by the juggernaut machine. Because that's basically the place to be. If you want to actually stay alive and, you know, be able to continue the next rounds after that. This is wrapping up here, guys. I went 14 and 5 with 8 captures and 2 defends. I hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day.